Hey, welcome back to Mr. News Art Class. It's wonderful to see your smiling faces today. The last time we were together, we created lots of different textures on uh, full-size sheets of construction paper. And today, we're going to be cutting those out and gluing them together to create some interesting characters and maybe even some settings for an Eric Carle style illustration. It's real easy to do, so let's get started. So I've got a paper here that I'm gonna be pasting all of my items onto. And the first thing I wanna do is brainstorm, get some ideas. I'm looking at my different textures and thinking about what they could be. This one kind of makes me think of Red Dragon. This one kind of makes me think of Water Dripping. This one also kind of makes me think of water, like waves. This one makes me think of vines in a forest, or maybe even like stripes on a snake. I kind of like that thought. So, once I've brainstormed and gotten some ideas of what kind of a creature or character I want to make, I think I'm going to go with the snake idea. What I want to do is draw with scissors. What I don't want to do, I'm not going to grab a pencil and draw or grab a crayon and draw. I'm not going to draw out the shape that I want to cut. I'm going to think about what shape I want to cut. I want to cut out a snaky shape. So here you can see I've cut out a snake. And before I go and glue it onto my white paper, I need to think of an arrangement of other objects. I also need to think about things like his eyes or his tongue. Maybe I want to use this red to cut out a small tongue. Maybe I want to use this brown to be the dirt underneath him that he's, or the maybe it's some fall leaves on the ground underneath him that he's going through. Um, so I want to plan out my entire space and uh, put everything where it belongs before I use any of the glue. I have used three of the four textures I made. I ended up not using this one. I could let a friend borrow that one or I could save it for another project. Um, I also still have a whole bunch of these scraps from my others and this texture I only used a very small amount. Um, these I can save these or let a friend borrow them. Um, but here, I think I've laid out exactly what I want. I've got a snake slithering through some leaves on the ground. And uh, my next step, the last step, is to figure out how I want to glue them down. Uh, but I want to try a couple of different arrangements and see, because I, I just kind of threw all these things together and I really like the way they look right now, but I might like them a different way better. So I want to try it around. So what I'm going to do is just mix things around. Maybe what happens if I tilt that leaf that way? I, I, you know, play around with different types of overlapping. Maybe I want to see what happens if a leaf is on top of the snake. Or if I switch and put this leaf down underneath. And this one up here. Um, and just play around uh, until you have... Well, you know what? I do like that leaf better down there than up here. Um, but yeah, so just play around until you've got uh, the arrangement that you think is going to be perfect. No, I liked that better when it was overlapping, so I'll put that back. Ooh, if I could pick it up. Mm, I'm not sure I like this one so much. I think it might be because of this sharp point. Maybe I'll snip that off. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that looks much better. Um, so just a few little changes, but I think I like it better this way. And uh, now, now it's the tricky part. I need to glue these things down, starting with whichever one is underneath. So like if I glue the snake down first, then I won't be able to have this leaf underneath it or the tongue underneath it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is eyes. I bet, I bet this will be great for eyes. Just cut some little tiny pieces of yellow for the eyes. Uh, I'll do that and then I'll start gluing things down. And I'm gonna start with what's underneath. Now this leaf in particular is gonna be really tricky because it's on top and underneath. So I'm gonna have to glue part of it down, not this part, then glue the snake on top of it, then glue this part. You get the idea. <laughs> And there you have it. I've finished my snake slithering through the fallen leaves. What kind of illustrations can you come up with? Mm -hmm.